What is global warming? Global warming is the long-term heating of Earth climate system observed since the pre-industrial period due to human activities such as fossil fuel burning which is increased heat trapping greenhouse gas level in Earth's atmosphere. Earth has experienced climate change in the past without help but from humanity. But the current climatic warming is occurring much more rapidly than past warming events. So, in this video, we will go detail about global warming. Do you know that the greenhouse effect is one of the causes of global warming? The greenhouse effect increases the temperature of Earth by trapping heat in our atmosphere. This keeps the temperature of the Earth higher than it will be. As the temperature becomes warmer, it can affect the health of human and the disease they are exposed to. The earth will become warmer and as a result, heat waves can kill thousands of people as they do in places that are not so warm throughout the year. Also, glaciers are vanishing due to rapidly warming temperature. Melting glaciers add to rising sea levels. Other than that, the earth's marine ecosystems are under pressure as a result of the climate change. Oceans are becoming more acidic due in large part to the absorption of some, some of our emission. We done this analysis because we want to achieve three goals. Firstly, we want to reduce the greenhouse effects. Second, to raise awareness about negative impact of global warming. And lastly, to create a safer environment for life on Earth. Human activities such as deforestation, burning fossil fuels and mining increases greenhouse gases in the atmosphere which finally leads to global warming. Because of global warming, sea level rising and it may cause heavy flood. Crops are destroyed and human daily activities are disrupted. Global warming may also lead to extreme weather other than cold or heat. Rising temperatures are affecting wildlife and their habitat. Vanishing ice has challenged species such as the Adelie penguin in Antarctica, where some population on the western peninsula have collapsed by 90% or more. Global warming also driving polar bears to extinction. Polar bears could become nearly extinct by the end of the century as a result of shrinking sea ice in the Arctic if global warming continues unabated. So at the end of this topic, I would like to tell you what we would recommend and the reason behind it. Firstly, we can refer to the industrial sector. The factories need to use filter before releasing smoke containing the toxic substance into the air. Next, we can reduce the air pollution by using the public transport, hybrid car and carpooling to go to the same place. By these two ways, we can reduce the amount of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and nitrogen dioxide that are released to the air which can increase the effect of greenhouse. After that, we need to reforest and the government need to visit more forest reserves. Through this method, we can reduce deforestation and oxygen supply can be increased. Last but not least, we need to apply 3R, reuse, reduce and recycle in our daily life. This way can help reduce pollution from solid waste and can decrease the global warming. So, love our nature. In conclusion, we confirm that global warming is the major challenge for our global society. There is very little doubt that global warming will change our climate in the next century. Global warming could not be solved easily if people are not very well practiced in lowering carbon emission law. So, the solution for this issue will be more effective when people change their lifestyle. Thank you.